Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel for the actual real vlog this time. And uh, we are, of course, where else than the Honda test days, guys. Oh. All right, so let's try this puppy. Guys, so we are sitting on CBR 650R, which is the E-Clutch version. So as you can see, this with the pulley, with the connectors, this is E-Clutch. Honda E-Clutch, as you can see. All right, this is strange. All right, so we are having the E-clutch on CBRC50R. That means we don't have to use the clutch at all. You can shift, you can downshift, you can, you know, upshift, downshift, shift, whatever you want to do. You can do without using a clutch. So basically, there is a pulley coming from the clutch lever go into this servo motor which is the e-clutch assembly right here as you can see this connection to the ECU to the shifter sensor which is on this side this one with the connection so it senses when you want to shift up or shift down and then the you know control unit will decide how to rev match how to turn off the ignition how to turn off the fueling to be able to you know to shift the biggest thing which is is that you don't have to use the clutch for you know going on to, to starting up and going smoothly so that's the interesting part of it that's cool that's king julian motto by the way hello <laughs> we have intercoms as you can see but we will not be talking to each other today I use the clutch because I use the clutch because I'm just used to the clutch and it's strange not to use the clutch. All right, so I haven't I have been on CBRC 50R uh, cuz King Julian had one a long time ago. Um, so I was able to just uh, try it a little. Uh, around some, I don't know, it was in a city, some roundabout, a parking lot. So I haven't ever ridden the CBR650R, honestly speaking. So this will be new to me. Uh, the bike is new to me. Oh, holy shit. So it's, if you use the clutch, it's really strange. Because it's gonna give you like that strange feeling that uh, the clutch is going like loose so it's really strange if you really use the clutch so you don't have the usual feel as you would call as, as the clutch would have but you don't have to use it at all so as you can see here on the on the new lcd display uh, a new tft display uh we're gonna talk about it later but um you have indication that the e-clutch is active that's the indication in the right corner the green one there's the e-clutch indication which means that you don't have to use the clutch so we are on cbr c50r 2024 design honestly speaking i like the previous design more
<laughs> the... What is he doing? What are you doing? Why is he going in the in the incoming lane? What a shit. All right, as usually, all the days didn't disappoint. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just came in with a car. So this is my first sitting on the motorcycle, which is, you know, not mine, which is first ride of the morning. It's 9.18, I, uh, I didn't have my coffee yet. And I have to, you know, and I have to lean and I have to work my body all already. So yeah, shout out to Honda <laughs> for not disappointing this year again. I gotta tell you guys, the Honda Day, those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. Those are, actually, they are obviously the group rides. As you can see, there's a guy in front of me with, with big instructor on his back. But that doesn't mean that this is gonna be like slow or boring. This is not, this is not, you know, Harley. <laughs> so, because <laughs> Harley days, oh my God, don't don't even let me talk about it. Like Harley test days, they are the worst. They are the worst kind of test days. But we are on Honda days, so, so let's keep talking about that. Um, as I said, uh, we are on CPR 650R because. I couldn't finish my sentence. CBR 650R 2024, new design for this year, new L uh, new TFT display, e-clutch edition. I'd say I liked previous models more because uh, they were prettier and I still think they are prettier. I don't know why, but this new design doesn't really suit me. It's like the eyes are looking not okay um i'd say that the color design is a little bit off it's not full fire blade black uh, it's not full fire blade the red and blue it's not you know cbr 600 or r design so it's kind of like a little bit on its own i'd say maybe that's my point of view like you know everyone has some point of view and uh obviously uh, this is my vlog, so I'm gonna tell you my feelings. <laughs> so I don't like it. I don't. I don't like the design. That's first thing. So let's get this out of the way at the beginning. But uh, it feels really sporty. I was uh, I was convinced everyone was talking about that CBR 650R is not real CBR. It's like R7. It's like uh, I don't know GS6R8 or GSX-8R, whatever it is now. But um, it feels, it feels really capable. Like the seating position, I gotta say, is a little sporty. It's not heavy on the back, because I was, you know, you know guys, I was riding yesterday on the track. I was riding yesterday on the track with uh, my GSX-R600 heavily modified and pure track bike where the you know sitting position is so much aggressive you know i have my handlebars are in front they're lowered uh the 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 rear packs are higher uh i have a tank tank extension and i have tank extension so whole sitting position on the gsxr is purely you know track riding so be sitting on this kind of sport bike which is not super sport to be honest it is four-cylinder engine it is 650 r but it's not really you know 600 rr which is brand new for this year as well but unfortunately we don't have it here uh it's a pure super sport the 600 rr is coming back to the market they left the market uh quite a while ago 
because these 600s are pretty much dying R6 are, is discontinued R1 is discontinued which is you know not okay but what can we do so Yamaha is pulling back on the super sport production but Honda is coming forward with super sport production and actually coming a little bit back so we have new Fireblade, we have new 600 RR and we have 650 R which we are sitting on right now and it was full line my mate so if you're using clutch on e-clutch it's really strange because as i said the e-clutch feels different and i'm using the clutch as a total noob because i can i cannot get i cannot forget to use the clutch like i can't just you know delete it from my mind i can't get used to it now but nevertheless i'll try to get used to it so from now on no no using the clutch so let's forget this lever is here because we have e-clutch um what does these buttons do all right that's uh i don't know what it is that looks strange so as you can see the cbr 650r uh is produced now with really nice really nicely readable i gotta say it's pretty big i was expecting much uh, much uh, smaller display but it did have kind of like an old uh, LCD display and now it has full-grown TFT display which is uh, really really good and it was something that CBR actually missed so we have really really nice display we have obviously some information here so uh up we have some fuel consumption down we have trip trip a trip b total 2080 2080 so obviously demo bike actual fuel consumption then on the right hand side we have fuel status with uh, some trip fuel, trip fuel again I think we're gonna be parking here as usually yeah we are a few moments later so let's quickly go through the display so we have uh, information here total trip A, trip B, fuel consumption left hand side it's a connection to the phone but we don't have connected the, we haven't connected the phone on the right hand side we have some uh, fuel information uh, so to fuel range um, settings Honda shift point trip display you can use you can check the, the So you can use a different kind of a display I don't like this one I don't like oh I cannot change it now oh my god I have to stop now and I cannot stop because this is group right okay so we are stuck with this kind of display <laughs> sorry guys I don't I don't like it either but uh, what can I do I just messed it up whatever right so as you can see we have a green light on the right hand side so the e-clutch is active uh we cannot go full beans because it's uh, 9 9 27 in the morning and i haven't drank my coffee so i cannot drag my knee i can because i brought my sliders however i will not um the shifting is actually way smoother then with the uh, quick shifter I have to tell you
This bike is faster. E clutch down. This is really strong corner. I knew it. Sitting position, so you're not, you know, leaned over too much because you would be like this in the, on the Super Sport. To, as you can see, it's a, the handlebars are raised up a little bit. The position for the legs, the your front of the feet is pretty much under your butt, so it's really sporty, I say. The seat is um, quite quite you know hard uh, I don't think it's a very comfortable seat so a little bit about the bike as I said this is CBR 650R uh, this is four cylinder engine which uh, has 649 cc uh, it has about 70 kilowatts so I'd say something under 100 horsepower 92 or something and 63 newton meters if i remember correctly we have about 15.4 um, liters of the in the fuel tank which is nicely shaped i don't have any criticism maybe a little bit sh better shaped up top not to slide my uh, not to slide my leg all over the place but um it's not like track bike so i'd say that's okay Say the upshift are awesome. Downshift, well, it's not incredible. But it's okay. Now I noticed one interesting fact. Every time when I'm gonna go for the brake, I kick into the e-clutch. Like, look, you see? I don't know if you see. Like every single time when I go for the e-clutch, uh, sorry, when I go for the brake, the rear brake, I kick into the e-clutch. So it's a pretty heavy, it's a pretty big thing. Like, I mean, in a matter of sizes, it's not slower the slow it's not smallest addition to the bike you know so as usually four cylinder engines 600 you have to rev it up you have to really rev it up to get the power out of it because you know it's um four cylinder engine so yeah you you are missing the low down power until like 6000 rpm you are oh usually 
last year we went right so let's see where we are going now so yeah as usually at the, uh, at about half and, and high rpm the power is coming on and we can turn it up to 12,500 it seems the red line is 12,500 so in the middle of the range you are starting to feel the power uh, there is not a lot of power but uh, I'd say 100 horsepower is enough to, to kill you <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing it corners really nicely uh, yeah, I don't know where we are going. I thought it's gonna go left. Why did I think that? Yeah, the downshifts are not awesome. I'd say one of the things they need to work on is the rev matching. Because it's it's downshifting don't take me wrong it's downshifting but you can feel the you can feel the blip not the blip because to feel the blip would be better but you can feel the the flop <laughs> uh, what, what i try and say is that you feel the initial engine brake you you, you you feel the initial and en clutch engaging CBS is 50R surprised me very positively. It's uh, it's not slow, like it's not rocket fast. All right, don't don't like don't expect the rocket ship. It's like neutrally fast. It can go fast. It will get there, but it's it's you are not holding for your dear life. Another thing is that the sitting position is incredibly ideal like it's you can do a lot of miles you can tuck in you know so you have i can fit on the bike really nicely so i like the seating position very much the brakes are okay i wouldn't say they are bad the suspension is actually really really capable it's not soft, as I'm used to. It's actually quite stiff. When I go over the bumps, you can feel like it's taking them. It's, it's, it's a little bit more stiff. So you can feel like a little bit more um, like punching. But it, it's not bad. It's, it means it's, it's, a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more stiff. However, if you are going over the smooth bumps in the road, then you actually feel that it kinda, it's kind of doing some waves. It's like, it's like going all over the waves. I don't know why, but it's doing that. But I'd say that this bike would be quite nice on the track. I'm not sure, I haven't been on this kind of bike on the track, so I cannot really say. Uh, I've been on super sports only. But this is everyone who is calling it soft sport. Ah, you know, I might change my opinion. It's not that soft as you might think. Nevertheless, the 
my first impressions of the e-clutch it's a uh, foolproof so you cannot do anything bad because you know first of all you don't have to use it for going only 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 thing you have to take care is that you are in the first it can you know go and get going on second third fourth but you will destroy the clutch so it doesn't make any fucking sense right so you have to be in the first you don't have to use the clutch at all it will do everything for you when going full beans you have to just you know just shift just up shift down shift and you know i'm on a throttle and i can up shift i go off the throttle i down shift third second but i can go on throttle up shift and i can go on throttle down shift you see it's different it's totally different can i up shift without the throttle yeah you see so it's like bulletproof you cannot like destroy it by oh i downshifted and i forgot to close the throttle uh, no nothing will happen since it is like since it is pulling clutch for you that means that it will pull the clutch Holy shit, this is, this is incredible, whoa, and bumpy, that was a little snakey, snakey baky, but it's good to have traction control, this, uh, this kind of bike, it's gonna help you a lot, so all, overall, you have traction control, you have assisted shifting or you have the e-clutch up and down up and down what about the low speed it's very good it's very good and you are not hitting neutral that's really nice So nice, you can see, first, no clutch, no clutch, second, third, oh my god, oh my god, such a beauty, it works really really fine, I, I have to tell you, like, I'm really, I'm really impressed, hello, the wind protection, you know, it's hitting me somewhere around my neck. So I would put the bigger screen on the bike to be able to cruise a little bit with less effort. Because on the highway, you have to be really like down here. Like this is okay, but you can't do like whole day like this, right? So I'd say the bigger screen or different angle of the screen the cruise control for longer for the longer rides and uh, other than that it's an incredible bike I know why people love it so there you go tell me what you think about the e-clutch Whew. So tell me what you think about the e-clutch, because I think it's freaking incredible.